Correct wins. If I'm I don't know. I'm thinking like because he's been going some memes today, so we will see what we get. But he's having fun. Happen. Is, is random he? gonna happen though? Aaron is laughing. Oh, oh of course. Oh, we he's laughing. Known. He's going random we for game known. one. He's gonna get oh, K, K rule. Oh, ah. he hates this character. <laughs> I know. If I know Aaron, Aaron hates this. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. okay. I, I saw Cloud spawn on the left, and I was like, wait, is that Aaron? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but then I realized. I remember yeah. th this was the character everyone hated back in, like, when this game came out. Because everyone thought, like, how do I deal with this character? All he does is side B and up B and, like, neutral B. And then everyone just realized, just shield. It's that easy. Yeah. He's not even that good. For the big reason, Aaron, Aaron calls us a glue-eating character. I'll say that. I I've definitely heard those words come out of his mouth. Glue-eating so, uh... character. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> he just... He just but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see some armor. One of the yes! scariest things about this matchup for K rule, as, as far as I'm aware, is uh, cross slash is a huge threat to his belly armor. So he could just get his armor broken and then just like die. This is effectively a shield break. I say uh, K rule is a very hard character to edge guard, especially because he's got that hitbox on top of his up B. And like Cloud isn't really the type of character you can go. No way. <laughs> okay, that was that's true combo. That's a that's true combo. Funny. No questions asked. But yeah, like, like you said, he is hard to edge guard. However, for Cloud, it's not as bad because you do have that disjointed dare that you can fight with. That is true. But like, all, Cloud also can't go really deep. That but is also true. However, he doesn't really need to when you got that at a hitbox like that. Yeah. He's going to charge his limit. Bread and butter? Going to kill him? No, he's living. He is going to make it back. Uh, he wouldn't burn his limit, though. Yeah. Ooh! Get attack being long enough to actually catch him standing there. But that's going to be a shield poke with the fair, getting him off stage. This could be the stock. Nope. Blackstone's trying to do the crown, but he hit the stage, so it bounced off and went low. And then respawned on Cheesy. So now Cheesy has that crown, I think. I don't know if he picked it up or not. He did. I think he okay. did. Yeah, yeah, it just came through. So uh, Blackstone's going to respawn with the crown. Up he had a shield so good from Cloud. That's a really good move. This is somehow even, despite the fact that uh, Blackwinds definitely doesn't practice this character. And the fact that he got, he deleted Pokey, or er, Cheesy, <laughs> with that dare to up smash. Yeah. That's funny, because we have um, three players in our regions whose tags just kind of work together. So we have Poke, we have Cheesy, and we have Poke Cheese. Oh. <laughs> it's really nice. funny. Anyway, let's just decide that. We got a, oh, dropping you in the last hit, trying to parry probably, but not getting it. Uh, Cloud's limit moves are very scary. All these situations, most of them are multi hit. It doesn't get the edge guard with crown. Like by. Do you feel Black Twins is the type of person to go for some cheese here? Like, oh, 100. He has to. Like, what else is he gonna do? Like to get to do the classic uh, neutral B off stage, just to suck him in and then hopefully stage spike him. Oh yeah, but good luck getting that. I think yeah. um, Black Twins is a very honest player overall, but uh, he has his moments where he likes to cheese people out. Like he's definitely gotten some uh, Pichu thunder spikes at early percent and such. He will not burn his limit. He will burn his limit. My bad. I think his big, ironically, his biggest weakness is the fact that he's actually smart, so he doesn't go for dumb options occasionally. Because like dumb things will work if a person's not expecting it. But he doesn't do that, so it's like you gotta just you gotta outwit him the whole time. You know? Up there, gonna get anything else? No. Nope. Oh, going for that up smash. That up smash is so obnoxious. The fact that everything is armor is crazy. Especially neutral air. Like that's a move that. Every cable like to spam as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah. I swear, once you break armor, that's the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh, like, for sure. Not only you get like the sick ass animation, you get to you get to have them feel the the pain once you charge that up smash or any smash attack, and have to see them suffer as they get right the, the final moments before their character dies, <laughs> a horrible death. As we say that though, uh, Black Twins kind of lost his, uh, his even footing he had there. Now it's a little bit more tough, especially because this matchup is certainly not in Rolls favor in any capacity. Um, it's not even one of those like meme good matchups against Cloud, because in Smash 4 there's like a lot of matchups where it's like... Nice echo, by the way. Um, there's a lot of matchups where it's like Charizard is randomly good against Cloud because he can flamethrower his up B and then down back. But like, in this game, it doesn't really seem the case. Cloud's overall a worse character than he was, but like... Cloud's I don't think you can just cheese into the heavy anymore. Yeah, I believe Cloud's a lot more of a risk reward character than he was in Smash 4. Because in Smash 4 he was he was like hella good until you got him off stage. But in this game, he's got like I think most of his moves have just generally more end lag than he yeah. did before. And his his hitbox, even though it's disjointed, it's not as bad as it was in Smash 4. For sure, yeah. 
Ooh, but he that's caught him actually going to hit the, the star. Ledge. Jeez, he's taking the first game. All right, now the question is, will Black Twin stick it out with the K rule? I think... Well, not the K rule, the, the random. random. Yes. Or is he going to actually just pick characters he knows and try to run them over? I, I think... Oh, at some, there's got to be a certain point where you got to say, all right, this time I actually got to try, because if I don't, I'm going to look dumb just by being a fool and picking think, random. Judging by how much he's smiling right now, no, yeah, he's, he's staying he's random for this game. Um, Do you think even when he goes 0-2 and, and he still has to jiggly Oh, pump? my God! <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. No, I think I think the next game he probably won't go random. Even even if he's 0-2 and like yeah, he if, has, he, if he loses, he probably won't. If he okay. wins, absolutely going random again. Jiggy but puff? this is uh this one's a little rough. I don't know if I uh, I support the puff versus cloud movement. The type of matchup. Ooh. With puff, with pretty much any character against puff, as long you get like your fair strings caramels though. like that. With Puff, uh, you could definitely get a bunch of fair strings, like especially off a of pound into Nair, and then into a bunch of fair combos. And that works generally on a bunch of heavies with bad recoveries, and especially on Cloud here, considering how light he is, or compared to other heavies with bad recoveries. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's certainly gimpable for uh, Puff. Like, she has all the tools that she needs to do it, but it requires a few reads, and also just she has to get in on him in the first place, which is the toughest part. Yeah. As you saw there, the way he got him off stage was two dash packs, which is like a huge commitment. So. It's really going to be a hard uh, it's battle for five bucks here. However, currently he is in the lead, so what can we say? Like, we, can't, we can't really figure it out. Right now. Figure it out. I think the biggest challenge right now is extending this lead, though, because it's so hard to hit Cloud in the first place's buff. I think he kind of just got a lucky opening. I say just getting around that sword is probably the hardest thing, because like even because Puff doesn't really have much range to begin with. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, but that's going to be a tech situation. Tex in doesn't get the punish. Doesn't get enough. You did see Black Twin swing with the jab there, though. He was yes. trying to get a jab lock, so we can do like a jab lock rest, jab lock rest, or something, or a forward smash, potentially. Yeah. At this percent, I believe rest would kill. So if he somehow lands it, that'd be crazy. But I don't think he's aware of the confirms, or if there are any confirms at this percent. Honestly, I think the rage makes it so you can't do anything. No, especially since it kills vertically, and like if the, mo the most worst feeling as a puff main. Right when the character, right when your opponent is right at the blast zone, and you see them, you think they're about to kill him with the rest, but they just come back down, and that, that's when you're screwed. In most cases. This is funny because uh, between stocks, both both players were like laughing, but um, Black Twins looks very serious right now. Like he wants to win this game. Oh, now he's laughing. He, but he's he was still smiling. He was he was like dead serious. Like he wanted to win this game. You can see that. Yeah, look at nice forward tilt. He, <laughs> he could get something off of this. Or he could get something off. All right, never mind. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, Puff's dash pack is a kill move, so she does have that option available to her. But we're really just fearing the cloud right now. Like I don't know what situation in this matchup does benefit cloud. Puff, Puff doesn't really have much kill options to begin with. Besides, oh, besides a dash attack. But like none of her tilts are gonna do anything. What is he doing? Uh, this looks like a stall attempt. I'm not really sure. I think maybe he's actually just trying to time out, <laughs> which is really funny because if that happens, with five minutes left, I mean. I would he do? Would he I, be the type of person to do this? That is the question. He's playing random and he got puff. He definitely is. I, I, he's entitled right. to time him out right now. I'll give. I'll give you that. Black Twin's reacting to like his his entire body reacted to actually hitting someone because like they spent a full like minute without touching each other. Now he's a little bit scared, more scared because now, they're both in kill percent. So like he could actually just lose the lead. And then every all Black, his camping was for nothing. Black Twin's more than cheesy because Jigglypuff, as you said, he, she has a really hard time getting in on pretty much anything. Yeah. 100%. But like black, I think he could potentially die to a fair. This is a good is a situation for Black Twins though. Guess the nice tilt, that's tilt. gonna take the stock. Good now stuff, good stuff. Black Twins can actually commit to the stalling strat. I don't know. We will see. I doubt. Grab I ledge, but this is not melee, so you're gonna lose that stock to the bear. <laughs> Just stage box. Yup. All think, that camping for nothing. I believe Jigglypuff can go under the stage, right? So if he really wanted to, he could just cheese him. Uh, I don't think she can on this one because there is like a big pole down the middle. Oh, right. So yeah. like she actually can, but she can definitely like camp below the stage if she wants to. Uh, however, you don't get your invincibility back, so that does make it a little bit tough. Cool, but dodging the limit, that's very crucial because uh, if he gets now hit by the limit, that's a huge deficit. They're just dancing around each other right now. They don't... Of course, you don't want to take any damage, but especially... You, you don't want to get hit too much with Jigglypuff because that's a lot of stuff you get off just one 
Even even off a of forward tilt, you get a lot of stuff off of any move with Jiggly Puff, if that makes any sense. Yeah, if, if you get Cloud off stage, then yes, you can ledge drop to death pretty much. Yeah. And then just get but uh, as far as Cobbles goes, she doesn't have too many. <laughs> she I has think she could do like up tilt, up pound, beat. Pound, forward air, neutral air is not not necessarily true, but it's a one that's really hit, simple to hit and not many people can dodge. As far as I'm concerned. Although I do believe that like Cheesy, at this point in the tournament, he knows how to DI, he's not going to get caught. Yeah. That was actually a rest confirm. I don't think Blackstone's is ready for it, but he got the late hit of Fair, which does combo to rest. So uh, that would have been funny. But at the same time, if Cheesy didn't die from that rest, then then he would just lost right oh, there. Oh, that could be Curtains. It's no. not, though. Gonna barely survive with the great DI. Blackstone's laughing about that. He's just going to stall his way back down, trolling as much as possible for this game. He over. can't. And oh. then didn't have any jumps. <laughs> what are you doing, Aaron? My man. He thought he could make. He thought he could cheese him out with the stall. You can't cheese cheese. Him. You can't. Ironically, I mean you can because he <laughs> plays cloud. But like in that situation, definitely couldn't. So let's see. Does Aaron go random, random. for game three? The triple whammy, please triple for the love of God. Can okay, okay. <gasps> he has. Oh no, he, he has, went Roy. He went Roy. All right. He has incentive. Or he has. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a willpower. Yeah. He, he just he has a mind. He knows the kind of situation he's in. He's not going to go random again. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to make that money. You know, like he's not trying to go to losers at this point. Because then he has to play either. Uh, well, he would have to play poke cheese and seven losers. I'm pretty sure. He has to play quarters first, but then he would play. Yeah. Anyway, Roy Cloud, how do you feel about this? I think Roy is very solid in this matchup. Uh, mostly because a he can two frame with that neutral B. And then B, he kind of runs over Cloud, and Cloud spends most of his neutral doing short hopped into fastball, like aerial, mostly back air. Especially um, down tilt against the ledge, I believe is a great option for Roy. For sure, for sure. And then Roy also benefits from just like throwing the aerial immediately. So as far as like timing goes in neutral, Roy just kind of has like a slight upper hand. Uh, Cloud does have more range, but Roy does have like better combos, better basically everything. Cloud, Roy's just a better character than Cloud in this game. This is true. This is facts. And uh, as you can see, Blackton's up pretty much full stock. He has a slight percent deficit, but he's lapping him right now. And could get the edge guard here with nope, that bear. Nope. Had he got that bear, that would have been the stock. Bear. That would have been that would have been it. Oh, but now he's all right, this is definitely free recovery. Yeah, I doesn't like get that the, from Black Twins. Doesn't get the, the two uh, frame with the neutral B. Yeah, I like that from Black Twins with the side B there because he stalled the side B. He did like two, and then he waited, and then he started the side B again because he knew that GG wanted to air dodge out as soon as possible. As you see here, Cloud will do a lot of like jump and then fastball bear, and then yeah. Roy can just run in and jump there, and he doesn't have to wait. Nice, so he kind of has that trade right there. He's gonna go deep for that recovery or for that edge guard, and then he gets immediate recovery. For sure, yeah. And he went high, so he didn't have to worry about like not making it back. So that was kind of free for Black Blackman. True. Set. And now he's up two whole stocks, kind of making a statement after dropping these two games as uh, random. Random. Yeah, Blackman's uh, K rule and Puff didn't really serve him too well, but can you blame him? Who has a K rule and a Puff? Who has any low tier <laughs> besides, say, a uh, little Mac? Well, you'd be surprised. There's actually a lot of people in Ontario that have like low tier mains, and they're actually pretty good. I believe I, I remember like there's a uh, a Kirby main named Rolls. Oh, okay. I, I haven't played him once. Haven't heard of him. We do have Nemo who plays Kirby. Um, we also have Knuckles who plays Carol, who's I was gonna mention. Uh, he's That's actually weird. a really solid player. I once saw Little Mac as well play against the Joker. They probably got destroyed. <laughs> you did get destroyed. But anyway, uh, we're just we're just stalling time here as we watch Blackwoods kind of run him over because like he hasn't lost a stock yet and he has him pretty much in no percent for the last stock. He's looking so dire, that and could, that's gonna be that's it. it. That's the game. Yeah. Now that's business as usual for Blackwoods. Uh, he, I feel like he's not smiling anymore. He's think he's in the zone. Yeah, he knows like okay now I actually have to try because if I lose then I lose. But like. Also, I feel like if he wins this set, he's straight up going to go random against Riddles, too. And Riddles will probably do it back. He'll probably random it on. Well, at least that time around, we won't get trolled. Anyway, though. We're going to see the Mario, I think I heard, this time. Interesting. Bok Twins also has a choice. very strong Mario. This was his main in Smash 4, or at least until Cloud came out. I've and never then seen I think it. it was a co -main. I've never seen his Mario, so this, this will be interesting for me. Goes immediately for the up the out of shield. For sure. But... Biggest thing to note about Black Twins' Mario is he's a very like fundamentally sound player, and his Mario is just completely honest and it works exactly how you expect it to. It's just so solid. He does have some good uh how do I 
like small, small little bursts of combos, like uh, back air, forward tilt, immediately just get off. Oh, for sure, yeah. He has like several I'm combos. I'm sorry, I'm, my voice is kind of screwing up today. I'm oh, saying no. things. I don't okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Not bad. So this Bring. time Cheesy in the lead, which is a little bit uh, different than the last game. Uh, I would say this matchup's tougher for Mario than it is for Roy. However, and also those are really sick uh, when you Uh <laughs> However, Black Twins has played this matchup in Smash 4 a lot, and also in this game he's probably aware of it. Just for the simple fact that he plays Dr. K, who's a Cloud Moon uh, on Wi-Fi very frequently. I see. So uh, he's, he's definitely aware of everything Cloud can throw at. He's just got to figure out how to get around it as Mario specifically. Mario, it's hard to get... I know I've said this before, but it's hard for pretty much any character to get on, in on sword fighters, because especially since how good they can zone you just with use of that sword. And, like, especially with Mario, he does have some good stuff, like I, his dash attack. It's a really good tomb frame at the ledge. But you just use it. This is very true. Uh, yeah, he can use that against Cloud as well, because Cloud kind of like has a lot of trouble so he's buying Legend of Discovery. Also, that should be a free stock for Black Twins. Yep. Oh! Although the he cheese. is going to bear him out of that. Can he make it back? Oh, that actually might have saved him. All right, we're good. We are good. Uh, that, was that was the stock. <laughs> also, another nice part nice. about this stage for Black Twins. It's actually an amazing counter for Mario. That's probably why he went Mario. Uh, is because of the fact that you can wall jump off stage, so he gets a little bit of a recovery mix up too. And then on top of that, the tri flat layout makes it so he can ladder combo into the blast zone, and the small blast zones make those up he actually will kill on the stage. He's also so, got, he's also got those slopes, like as I said before, still makes it easier for two frame with those dash attacks. For sure, for yeah. Mario. So everything on the stage is just in Mario's favor. It's a really smart counter for Black Twins. But he is struggling right now, so like this could be a big upset for Cheeks. Or cheesy, fun. Sorry. English. <laughs> Well, this might be another cape. Oh, Ooh. jumping with that. That was interesting. Off the watch, I'm saying. Can you get up air strings? Here it is. Up oh, but he's nah. not going to get the up Actually going to go way out there trying to keep him. Not going to get it, though. Surviving the up despite it being a limit move. Oh, but that fireball is going to put him in a scary situation. Recovering a little high. If he if he jab. down smash there, that would definitely be the stock. Oh, for sure. But he's just going to cape him right Ooh. here. And that is going to be stock as well. Phil, be my guy. Yeah. The reason he jabs is because he's just waiting for a reaction. Because he knew that if Cheeks had recovered, sorry, Cheesy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, had he recovered high, um, he could have just jabbed a reaction and then gimped him from there. So it was just a win win for Black Twins. And as you saw, now they're both in their last stock. This is going to be kind of a close game. Black Twins might just win a little because he is down. I like the use of the du the wall jump into the double jump because that way, because normally you're expecting you're expecting the up B right to the ledge. For sure, yeah. But then then you just caught him with the uh, back air F tilt, got him off real fast. I uh, stopped him from charging his limit as well. Got the parry. Yeah, I caught him at the end of uh, his cross house there. Oh, this is scary for Cheek. Cheesy. I almost said Cheeks again. <laughs> But now we're going to get Mario's bread and uh, butter. This is why this stage is good for Mario, because he just gets free combos. But that Nair going to hit him back towards the stage. Really unfortunate for Black Twins. This could be it. This could but be it's done. Be and he has limit. Now Black Twins has to fear for his life, because any mistake could be an up This is shield. hella close. Is, is that, that it? Gonna kill? That's it. It is. So that's going to be why this stage is so great for Mario. It kills early. That's yeah. the biggest thing. He needs to be able to kill off the top early. Now he's, kill now he's tied 2-2. Two -two. Game 5. Yeah, I don't know. This is This is... Scary for both players now. I mean, it's always scary for a cheesy because like Black Twins is so good. But like now, it's like, oh my god, I'm in game five with Black Twins. I need to be like now, on now, my game. Now it needs to go super try hard. Yeah. Now Black Twins gets to pick first. He's going Roy, the character that did destroy Three him. stock. Absolute destruction. I've I have a feeling. Does cheesy have many other characters or like? I don't think so. Any I've other secondaries? Only ever heard of him playing Cloud. However, I don't really know him that personally, so he might. But I highly doubt that any of his characters he'd be more confident in than Cloud in this matchup. And there you go. He's going Cloud. They're conversing about something. I'm not really sure. It might be like DSR shenanigans. but Discrepancies, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Nothing too serious. We are going to game five. I didn't see the stage. I missed it. I think it was, oh, oh, it was back Yoshi's to Yoshi's. Again. Okay, so um, I think Cheesy probably just thought it was going well enough last time. He just lost the last hit situation, which is, like, fine. And he switched characters, so maybe it'll go better for him. Triflats have always been good for Cloud. Roy doesn't have much benefits on the stage, does he? Well, or, besides those ledges. The fact that the he kills slopes. early. The slopes are nice for two-framing, and also the fact that he kills early here. That's actually really, really nice for him, because uh, he kills way earlier than average, so he can get kills at, like, 80% if he places his hitboxes right. 
He's generally faster than Cloud. That Ro too, yeah. Well, their ground movement's pretty similar, but Roy just has like overall faster. The, the aerials and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, it's going to get the jab in the Nair. Interesting option for Blackjones there. I think he could have gotten up air and started to juggle, but it's a little bit hard to react to that, so that was the safest thing to go for. Over Cheesy with a slight lead, so Blackjones might as well Could be the stock. No, he's no, going to get it back. Yeah. Cloud's not exactly the character to uh, go off an edge guard very much. He's mostly just going to try to ledge trap you, so sure. Blackjones doesn't have to fear his recovery too much. He can just kind of go low. Nice. But that limit cross the limit. from ledge is going to take the first stock. Uh, it's a little unfortunate he had to wor uh, burn his limit there. However, oh, that's going to be oh. Jab Bear. Yep. That's the right uh, bread and butter. It's a little unfortunate he had to burn his limit there because of the fact that uh, he could have saved her for the next stock, but immediately losing his stock afterward made it completely irrelevant. So, we're going to get a little bit of footsies. I like the up to shield. Uh, it's nice for Cloud in the stage to up to shield because you can land on the top platform and be safe as opposed to most other stages where if they shield it, then it's not safe. So, like... It's a little bit scarier, but it's still working out. Try to come with that down tilt. I don't think he, he could have gotten anything on that down tilt, could he? Or just maybe a down no, tilt? It's not true. You can kind of like tech chase people with it, but not like anything true. It's kind of like Rob. Okay. Except Rob's is actually true for like two hits, I think so. And Rob's crazy. can trip people as yes. well. Actually, can all down tilts have potential to trip people? Or I just think like. All of them have a trip chance, but it's like very. Rob's I, is a lot higher. I know Meta Knight's does, uh, so does Rob. But that's yeah. all. That's all I know for all. DK's does as well. I know, like a lot of them do. Like, I don't know the percent. Anyway, uh, we got a ledge trap situation here for Black Blitz, but he's gonna make it through. I, I like how he's diing into because every time Cheesy has up beat a shield, Black Blitz make sure he's flew behind him so that Cheesy can't get any sort of like ledge trapping follow. -up. It's getting even. He could Cheesy could make the upset of not really his dreams, but like <laughs> of the start of his Smash career, if you want to call it that. Yeah, for not sure. This is the first seed, so he does need to... He has that pressure, and Black Twins is going to take that stock, so it is last he stock for Cheesy. He's got to make sure that he closes out this stock soon. He has to turn really up the tough. Jets at this point. When you're up against, say... He, he's number one on the PR, right? Yeah. When you're up against down two stocks, not two stocks, when you're really close to beating beating the number one PR player in Ontario, you've got to turn up the Jets. You've got to... Try hard. Never mind. Oh, that's going to be the game, though. Unless he charges limit, maybe. Oh, but oh. he's going to get the dare down there, making it the absolutely disrespect. certain. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Cheesy got there through an upset. Well, that's pretty cool. So at least he got an upset today. But uh, not at least took those to first two out. games. That's, that's just too tough, right? Like, Black Twins, even after dropping two games as Jigglypuff and K. Rule, he's still got his Roy in the back pocket, and that's going to be consistent for him. So And his Mario. Yeah, that as well. Anyway, hello guys, we're here. Uh, we're probably gonna move into winners finals or maybe something in losers, not really sure. But we've got, we know Black Twins is still in, we know Riddles is still in, that's gonna be winners finals. We've got Cheesy and Pochies in losers quarters. Cheesy expressing his frustration. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was a really well played set from Cheesy because even after Black Twins switched to his like actual characters, he was still keeping up with them. Like he had his Roy on the last legs. Surprisingly. And he had, uh, 